this is Stampy, and welcome back to my let's play on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are finally doing something today that has been much requested in the comments. I don't know if there's a shrine beneath me here. God, I really needed to get this, uh, this shrine tracker sooner because I must have missed so many shrines. So let's just put some stars around here because I do not want to delay what my initial plans were for today and uh, yeah that's because we are finally going to be going up to the northeast area of the the map uh, and filling this area in trying to get the the tower and that is also where tarry town is tarry tori tarry i think it's tarry town is pronounced basically it was the town in breath of the wild that you kind of helped to to get built and everyone to to move there and I'll be getting so, I get so many comments from people saying to like to go there. It's going to be really good and stuff. And it's like, yeah, I don't. I'm, I will do it. Like, it's not like I've been doing nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've. I've uh, it has been one of the things that I've been looking forward to to doing. And uh, can I see it from here? Oh, is that a? Oh, there's a dragon coming out of there. I haven't done that big spiral in the water. I can see that tower there. It looks like. Oh, is that like a coliseum here? I think I just about can glimpse a shrine in it. And oh, there's a shrine down there as well. Okay, I'll be honest. Let's not commit to be 100% doing the town today. Because there's obviously already a bunch of things in the way. And oh wait, was it, is that it there? Hmm. I think that might be it there, you know. Yeah, I think that is. But I can't see any buildings on it. But there does seem to be like... A roller coaster <laughs> down the other side there. Which so let's land on whatever this thing is there. We do that shrine, and then from there we can pretty quickly make our way to the tower. Uh, and then once we've got the area filled in, then we can kind of just choose what it is that we want to to go and do next after that. And oh, there's a stable down there as well. Ah, oh, so this is like a a big castle. Oh, is this the place? That in Breath of the Wild, they had all of like those like flying enemies around. Is that here? I feel like I recognise this place, the Citadel Ruins. Okay, well let's go get this uh this shrine done first. Uh, the Domizum Shrine, I think it was called. Then as I said, uh, from here uh, we can easily make our way to the the tower. There was also a mission that I had to do up here. From uh, I think it was Robbie said it for me, which will give me the ability to track like any item in the the game, and I can't remember exactly where I had to go, but it was somewhere up here. I can check the uh, the mission objective if I need some more information. Uh, but first, let's uh, let's not worry about all that for now, and let's just focus on getting this shrine done. Oh, uh, are these the things that I can like spin things? Oh, do I just hit it? Ah, uh, so it just spins in like a right angle like that. And then, oh, so that would then spin it round again. So, ah, if I go here and then now shoot that, I should be able to get the uh, the chest on this side first. And then we can begin <laughs> trying to, to worry about everything that's going on uh, in there. Sorry, I just had my headphones tangled up. I wanted to, to go untangle. So, where are we trying? So, that, that looks like that's where we're trying to get to. Oh, there's another chest there. So, this one would spin it around that. Ah, so if I, I kind of want it to turn again before I, well, let's, let's just hit this thing and let's just see what happens. And hopefully I won't fall out. Oh, so this block stays, but the rest all moves round. Very interesting. Right, where did that, so that chest is there. So oh, if I, I think I need to spin this the whole way around. So I need to hit it twice more. And then I should be able to, to grab the chest. And then once I have that, I'll be able to start working out how to get up there. I'm sure I'm going to have to ascend through something to get up there. Oh, oh and there's another chest there as well. I didn't even see that chest. Oh, so, so this chest is up here now. So I can ascend through this here to grab the chest. And I wonder if from here, I might be able to shoot out one of the windows to try and turn the other one that way. If that's what I need to do. Oh, I mean, they're giving me arrows, which does make me think that I would need to use arrows. So I can't really get back out of here yet. So maybe I need to spin it so that big tall column there, I can ascend up through it. Which does mean that I need to go the whole 
the whole way around again. But then that would allow me to ascend so I can go out on the top of the cage. Then I'm assuming from that, I could probably just fly to the end of the, the level, right? I know there is one other chest that I missed, but I've really learned that you almost never get anything that's actually worth getting from those chests. I'm not too worried. So you know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to abandon the uh, the chest and just go to the uh, the end. I've got too much I want to do today. I don't have time to pick up every single chest. Oh, that is my fourth light of blessing as well. I would assume that there would be a, a goddess statue at Tarrytown, I'm assuming. Uh, so yeah, let, let's not worry too much about going around all of these ruins. Let's let's go and get the the tower because I've said it first. Like I never really like exploring a, an area properly until I have the the tower filled in. Like I always feel like that's the thing that I want to to do first. Yeah, I think I think this place. I think there was a bunch of like like land you couldn't stand on or something, and like a bunch of like like I remember this just being quite a difficult awkward place. I think you had to like shoot a bunch of like the corruption eyeballs or something. Like I'm getting like very vague and blurry memories uh, of this place. And all oh, is that a big banana? Oh no, I thought that was like a giant banana down there. Then what is that place? This place is weird. Oh, no, there's Tarita. Okay, so I think I was just too far away. It wasn't loaded in. I was there panicking, going like, where's all the buildings? <laughs> but they just hadn't loaded in yet. Right, let's fly down to this town then. And then uh, we can go and look down that way. Right, is the tower going to be working? Oh, someone here <laughs> means it probably isn't working. Is it that there was enemies flying around? Is it because of these guys? Oh, oh they're holding, are they holding something important? Right, what does, uh, what does uh, Sawson say? Huh? We made it another Skyview Tower, didn't we? I dashed here as fast as I could, and it looks like you're pretty fast too. Did you come here to see the Skyview Tower? I hate to say it, but things are a bit of a mess right now. A mess? Uh. That flying monster took the terminal from the Skyview Tower! Oh, I should have got it when I was gliding in. Good grief! That sticky claw terror has a habit of stealing things. I'll never fix the Skyview Tower at this rate! Uh, right. It would be mean. It, it would be really nice if I could use the tower to get up to it quick. But you know what? From down here, I might just be able to use a keys eyeball in order to just shoot it out the sky because that's going to track it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the way it just fell down there. Right. Let's go grab the goodies. Oh, oh took a while. We got destroyed. And then let's go bring this back. Okay. We had a little bit of work to do before we get in the the tower, but certainly not too bad compared to uh some of the uh, the other ones, so we can go and help our buddy out here with his repair job. Ah, the terminal! Mister, you got the terminal back! That flying rascal was the worst! Thanks, that really helped me out! And to carry such a heavy thing on your own too! I'd have a hard time moving that by myself! Yeah, you don't have a magic hand though, do you mate? That's the problem! Please mister, would you maybe move the terminal over there for me? I'll repair the terminal once it's in place. Sorry to ask for even more help. No worries. As I said, once again, magic hand. I'm the uh, the perfect man for the job. Uh, right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> you really helped me out. I'll get the terminal up and running in the, in the Skyview Tower right away. <laughs> I'll tighten this and done. There. That's not going anywhere, even if a monster is real determined. I couldn't have done it without you. I really appreciate it. You are more than welcome. Oh, it feels like a while since we've done this. We need to really treasure these moments, because I've only got two, like, last areas of the map to fill in. Like, two regions, with this being one of them. So this is our, like, penultimate sky view tower. And these are, like, some of my favourite cutscenes in the game. Just the whole music and everything. And then just, like... Your first big glimpse from the, the skies. I know there's a big cube in the sky. We do have some, uh... Some floating land up here as well. Some sky islands for, for us to explore. I wonder if we can make the most of this height. Would we be able to make our way to that dragon? Or would it be too far away at this point? I'm either going to go to the dragon or straight to the town, I reckon. But first, let's get the uh, the whole area filled in. It looks like quite a huge area, or at least quite dense with a lot of things. And ah, so it looks like it's another like three tiered labyrinth. 
Like, I reckon, like, the other labyrinth I did recently, there's probably one in the sky, one on the ground, and one down in the depths, by the looks of things. That was a, a fun puzzle, though, last time I did that. Right, where's the, uh... Where'd that... Oh, oh, yeah, I reckon I could get to that dragon, you know? Do you reckon I could? Let's put on my things that let me fly better. Because that way I can, like, move quite far forwards while I haven't got the paraglider out. So what I like doing is I, I hold forward like this, and then as soon as Gust is ready, I'll then reuse it to glide a bit to move myself along. And then I can drop down here a bit. Oh, I, I am kind of wondering, is it... Uh, you know what, forget, it's too far away. It's too far away, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind! <laughs> this is this is part of the uh, the luxury now of having quite a lot of, uh, of stamina. I don't need to uh, to stress too much about um about changing my direction midair and going uh, somewhere else that I I want to. So yeah, because there was a fairy fountain up there somewhere in the old game, or maybe like up behind. Oh, maybe I think it was there, maybe. So I remember that this was like an area I spent like quite a lot of time in in, uh, in Breath of the the Wild, and I even actually remember there was a korok. There was like a little flower. You had to climb around that bridge in order to <laughs> in order to find it. I don't know. After all of like the major things that I've forgotten, I don't know why those little things really stand out in my memory. What's going on with the roller coaster though? It looks like there's like like a big thing down there. I am most curious. And is that a, um, oh, there's a shrine crystal there by the looks of things. And oh, I ended up, after all that time, I ended up dropping down too far and <laughs> gonna end up climbing up. Once again, though, <laughs> with loads of stamina, it ain't a, uh, it ain't such a big deal. And, uh, yeah, I've got to remember, actually, if there is a, uh, goddess statue, I will be able to grab that. And oh, it's you! Your head, oh, what is this here? What's this, like, it looks like a mini mountain that they're building on a platform. What is it? What's, what is going on here? This is bizarre. But yeah, I've got like a bunch of bubble frog things here. <laughs> Why, hello there, you! My lips do curl into a grin at the honor of bumping into you again. And on such a handsome night, too. You met again with my younger brother, Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. Oh, it's Colton that I wanted, not Kilton. <laughs> He is a bit eccentric, I know, I know, but I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time I made goods from monster parts, you see, and travelled around selling them at my shop. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelette, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can at least make a real dream. I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing in the world instead. Yee, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What's your dream? The truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, what? Monsters? Disgusting. But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know. Monsters are violent creatures that, dis that are and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood, the way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so, I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. And for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the first carpenter in all of land, all of the land, Hudson. <laughs> as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has seen before. So you're gonna make like a like a monster museum then, by the the sounds of it. Very curious. Anyway, we do have our goddess statue. So do we go heart container or do we commit to doing another ring of stamina? That's you know, I do have quite a lot of stamina already. Oh, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one because it's very neat. Oh, you know, let's just do stamina. Let's do this and say this will be my my final row, or my final ring, I guess, of stamina that I do. And then once I've got that ring filled in so it looks all neat, uh, then I will uh, go all out and just go and do heart containers until the end of the game. Like, I probably should have done a heart container then, because having more hearts at this point probably means more, because it's very rare that I do run out of stamina. <laughs> but I can't help it. Oh, wait! 
Did I do heart container? Oh, I might have clicked the wrong one anyway. And oh, there he is! Colton? Kilton? Kilton? Colton? I can't remember, but they're right up there. Oh, that's actually quite far away. See, it looks close, but it's actually quite far away. I know it's just near that tower, though, so I will be able to get it in the, the future. Right, so there was a shrine crystal here. But I don't know where we're going to be trying to get it to. I guess maybe we're going to have to ride the uh, the track. Anyway, Haggy wants a word. Whoa there, want to use the rail car? Ah. There's a fee for that. You're free to use it once you pay up. Well, you're free to use it once you pay up. All right, go on. Then what's the fee? Well, I just want to go. I just want to know where I got to take that crystal to, right? Oh, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I've got to hurry and find some sucker to. Um, heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I'll collect that for you. It's twenty rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee, ultimate rides. What about a bargain? Uh, let's ask about the rock. Oh, you're interested in this rock. I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole- I mean, I took it as a memento. But if you're interested, I would consider selling it to you for a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. Not for that price. In that case, how about 60 rupees? Am I pushing my luck? Ah, I'll take 60. 60's fine, whatever. So, normally though, I need to find where it needs to go first, and then that connects like the little beam. Hey, what are you doing? Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. Art calls 60, no 50 rupees are more than fair price. Oh, but I, I already said an absolutely fair price and he might have. Okay, no need for the stern wife look. Uh, well, what do you say? It's a real deal, just 50 rupees. All right, go on then. Well, he's actually going to buy this weird rock I found. It's my lucky day. Th 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 that's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock. So you've made a wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. Uh, right. Can I see... Oh, wait, don't be hasty. Oh, come on, just let me play! Stop bugging me, Haggy! <laughs> You're so nuggy, Haggy! <laughs> Sorry, but you can't take the real car until you pay the fee. Oh, have I not paid the fee? I thought I paid, I thought I paid the fee! Did I not pay the fee? Right, let me pay the fee, okay? Yes, 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 but oh, yes, I know! Let me just pay the fee! Okay, right, here's the fee. Very good, all set. Thank you, thank you. Controller, simply give it a whack to start and stop. Uh, You're free to use it, okay. Right, let me see if I can have a look. See if I can see where I need to take it to. So there's a capsule there. So I'm assuming it probably fell down. Do it. Do I take my new? Well, they said they got the rock from the construction site. Let's let's take this with me for now, then, shall we? And let's go. Let's just go right. Oh wait, I'm not gonna. Oh, I was so scared. Actually, this was made of wood. I was so scared. I was just gonna break it all away. Why? Why is it so like? Long and like wiggledy, <laughs> this entire track. Ah, so it's going to take me down to there. I can't see where I'd need to end up taking this to. So let's just leave that on there for now, and we'll have ourselves a wander around, and then hopefully we'll run into it. Let's go check out the uh, the capsule dis uh, dispenser first, shall we? There's someone like freaking out, wanting to know what this thing is. Ah, are you interested in this too? Oh. Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. But what is it? And where did it come from? Uh, is this like... Was I meant to come here ages ago? They're really like teaching me a bunch of the basics, right? <laughs> <laughs> right now, like how to set the things off and while these work. Like, I think they assumed that I would have come to this area much sooner than uh, than I have. Anyway, let's see uh, what goodies we're going to get. Oh, so I see the hot air balloons there. Some wheels. Oh, rockets as well. Huh. That's what those things are. There are Zonai devices inside this thing. I think, yes, I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery. Probably. 
And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Tarrytown. Kokoriko Village in Nekluda, south of here, has one. And there's one of those southwest, too, at the Dig Dog Bridge, near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Could it be that the types of Zonai devices inside each area's contraption are different? Questions require answers. I've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel I need your ceremonial award for your big discovery. A single sundelion. I found it while investigating some fallen ruins. It's rare and was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village, that's to the south of here in Nekluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might want to try talking to them. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again! Yeah, I think they really expected me to come here much sooner than I did. Right, did I get everything I can or are there any question marks? Yeah, oh, pretty good one. Oh no, there is a question mark still. Let's, um... Where are just the normal energy cells? Uh, if I sort by type, that might be easier because then at least they will be side by side. Uh, there we go. See, I've got 175 of these. Might as well make the most of it. Seeing as my energy cells have been upgraded enough that it's very rare now that I run out of energy in one of my contraptions. Did I get anything that I didn't get before? I'm not sure if I did. Oh, oh, is it just a fan? Okay, I mean, to be fair, I've been going through fans quite quick, so that's not the, uh, the worst thing for me to, to grab. And what a mess! All of this rubbish that has fallen from the, the sky. Looks like there's a cave down there. That could possibly be where the shrine is. And then there's a well here as well. There's some sleepy gorons about the, the place. And then it looks like they're kind of building like things in the, the same like style as, uh, as Tarrytown. Let's go and uh, see if we can speak to some people and see what's going on with, the, uh, with this dig site. <laughs> Sun and done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Tarrytown? If you're going there, the rail car's right in front of you. Nope, I am all good. Who's, who's like in charge around here? That's what I want to, to find out. Who can I talk to to work out what's what's going on? Let's maybe chat to this person, and if not, we'll go talk to some people down here. But it doesn't seem like there's no, any objectives here. Good evening. Uh, who are you? This is Hudson Construction Site. We're doing critical work that can, can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You shouldn't be here. <laughs> Hudson Construction is the number one construction company. And they don't only do buildings like the ones at Lookout Landing. They also build machinery like the Skyview Towers. Amazing! And just wait until you hear about their latest invention. <laughs> the bill Oh, this balloon! Can you believe it was made using Zonai devices? Pora has taken a keen interest in all the Zonai devices found here. So she asked Hudson to make this balloon for the Zonai survey team to reuse. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerably. Um, anyway, as I was saying, we do critical work here. No civilians allowed. What sort of critical work? More Zonai artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. To someone on the Zonai survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling onto your lap. Incredible! <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little bit carried away. Anyway, people are working here, so please give them some space. If you're headed to Tarrytown, that rail car to the east is the quickest route. Okay, I thought there was going to be a mission here, so it looks like this is just a bunch of stuff that's fallen from the sky. But what are those things down there? They look like they've been built. Ah! Oh, it's just like a race course! It kind of looks a bit like a race course. Are these like ramps? Oh, I am rather curious. Right, what's going on here? Fannison! This isn't what we agreed to! You left the desert and trekked all the way out here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before! And now we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control! What kind of fools do you take us for? Aww. You've got it all wrong! It's like I said before! I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of Zonai devices and the other debris that fell from the sky! 
And yes, it's true, we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles, but that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. <laughs> Zo, what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Hmm, you found nothing among these Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles. Mm. Sadly, none. None of these devices we've found here in Tarrytown work. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. I'm standing right here. Don't cut uh, me out of this little chit chat. Didn't you say those Zo thingy mid bobs are from the Age of Legends? You're trying to tell me that old rundown thing is still useful? Oh. Please. Why did we come all this way? It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shanbone or Shabone? Oh, fine. If Tony wants to help, then that's what we'll do. Uh, right, can I, can I just not talk to them? Can I just go and put the the steering stick on this? Will that, will that just work? Hey now, that vehicle is a prototype. Please do not touch. Hold on. What? Incredible! Just look at it! It's perfect! I have no doubt that Zonai device was made for steering! Ah, oh, so, sorry for shouting. Are you new to Hudson Construction? My name is, uh, Ferneson. I'm collaborating with Hudson on a Zonai device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. But more importantly, this Zonai device of yours. It seems like it could be used for steering things, doesn't it? Please, could you show us uh, exactly what this device is capable of? I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make that huge contraption, contraption move. Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Ah, uh, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. It is some sort of racetrack it looks like. Let's see. Mm, I think I flipped the switches here and there and yes. Ah, so do I, do I need to like drive through all of like those checkpoints? Ta-da! The test drive course, you see? Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them. So here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the light, then return to where you started within the time limit. Do that and we'll call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, we'll have built another new vehicle and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to give it a try. Uh, I'd like you to give it a try. Yep. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, this is definitely somewhere you were meant to go earlier because it's like really going through like all the, the basics. Now, let me remind you, I know the rules. Touch the lights and don't get off. I understand. God, they talk so much in this game. We get it, guys. We get it. I can drive. Uh, oh, okay. I wasn't even on the, the steering stick. I should have plenty of energy to do this. I like the, the music. Okay, I'm not going particularly fast, am I? But I am moving. Wait, have they given me like three minutes to do this? Are more lights going to like light up or is it just this? I mean, three minutes was very generous <laughs> considering I've done it in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Finished. I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Oh, a technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tully? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Oh my god, it was so slow, guys. Calm down. We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Zonai device's full capabilities. And, ah, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here, please consider this a down payment. 100 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> you're now officially a member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Uh, sleepover ticket. Ah. It's a sleepover ticket for the stable. The closest one to here is probably South Akala Stable. Oh. Head straight down that road. You can't miss it. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Yeah. See, the vehicle is up and running, so don't you accuse me of trying to trick you. My goal has always been to start work on the Tarry Town race project, and finally I can do just that. Now, it's time for me to start repairing a test course. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. The Tarry Town race, and yes, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so I guess I need to sleep, and then when I come back, this will all be set up. And I can see the stable, 
up there. And I've been meaning to do more of the uh, the stable quest anyway, because uh, I want to get my frog outfit. And I've only got one part of it so far. And I feel like we're almost due another one. So uh, I know we haven't spent much time in Tarrytown. I will go back, I promise. But for now, let's try and get the uh, the stable quest done. And then we'll be able to, to carry on doing all of the uh, the rest of the, the races here. All right, here's the uh, the stable. I'll tell you what, just because I'm really bad at forgetting to do these. Let's go do this well first. Why is there a chicken down here? <laughs> oh no, this poor chicken sucked out the the well. I don't know if there's much. I mean, I mean, there's probably a way I can get them out of there. Not one that I can think of straight away. Is this all there is down here? Or am I being blind? Normally there's like another wall you can destroy or something. Oh, unless there is going to be a mission for me to get that chicken out of there. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we leave the chicken. Maybe the chicken loves it down there. Maybe the chicken isn't stuck in the well. It's just living its best life and happens to be down a well. Well, I'll tell you what, before we uh, go speak to Pen, let's go and sleep in the, the stable first anyway. The thing is, I'd rather not use the sleepover ticket anyway. Because, surely, because if I if I pay to stay, don't I get, like, the, the pony points, which is better? Because I keep getting get given those, like, sleepover tickets. I'm always like, I don't want them. Uh, you're a night owl, I see. No, I've come here to go to bed. Uh, thank you for supporting the stable association. Uh, since this is your first one here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, looks like you got some points saved up. Uh, you want to get your rewards set to the counter, the ledger, blah, 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 blah. All I want to do is sleep. Uh, I'm gonna stay in a fancy bed. I'm a fancy guy. If I if I want to stay in a fancy bed, I can stay in a fancy po uh fancy bed. Oh, 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 did it not let me? Okay, I'll stay in a regular bed then. I guess I'm not so much of a of a fancy guy then, right? Uh, well, let's pay because I think that will then give me pony points, and then wake up at the in the morning, and then we go uh, speak to Pen. Uh, might as well quickly see what uh what reward I will get, seeing as I have uh, enough pony points. Uh, for seven points, you've unlocked the, uh... Oh, no, now I unlocked the fancy bed. It will wake you up and give me more energy. Oh, I should have done this first then, I guess. Uh, as a rule for ten points, you can now register an additional horse. Okay, I mean, I never really use the horses anyway, to be fair. If you see your horse up there, you'd like to make it, please bring it to us. Uh, if you save up three more points, uh, you'll get a traveler's saddle. To be fair, all of the rewards you get are all related to horses, which makes sense. It is pony points, after all. And I, like, never use a horse. It's not a big deal. And, oh, yeah, there's a shrine up there. I, I do hear that it's a uh, dinghy. No wonder Korok as well. But I will try and stay focused for a bit and uh, go and speak to, to Pen first. About a prophecy, apparently. Hey, look at you, partner. Our bread son up scouting out leads. You remind me of me. So, how about it? Tell me you've got something that we can work on, no? I got nothing either. Not a chirp. Not even a warble. Even if I started out the old heroes, no sir. Not in the slightest peep. So, what to do when our leads go quiet and our luck runs out? I suppose we've got at least one last resort. A prophecy. Oh, yes. It, uh, it's come to that. Good thing there's one heck of a cuckoo around here that, uh, speaks prophecy. I mean, we know it's hard to believe, but you've got to wonder. Ah. Look at that tree there. The one way up on that hill. They say folks are lining up here to hear those prophecies every day, hoping to have their fortunes told. Hmm. Well, I know what you're thinking. Seasoned reporter like me hoping to get a lead from an actual poultry? Well, hear me out. Those that flock up there for their real fortunes, they might know a real story here. Interview them. Okay, so there's a magic chicken <laughs> that tells prophecies, and I need to interview all of the people that are on their way to go and uh, see the chicken. So where's the chicken? Is the chicken in the tree? Oh no, it's just there. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go chat to some of these people. They seem to be leaving. Let's talk to them first. <laughs> Hey there, fella. So checking out my fancy duds, I bet. Stylish, right? I'm a little late to fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide open now. I was heading east for Tarrytown, since I'd heard celebrity designer Cece was influenced by someone there. But when I heard about the Oracle here, I had to stop by and see for myself if it's the real deal. And buddy, it's real as it can be. Here's the prophecy I got. On a remote island to the northeast, thou will find great fortune. Tarrytown will have to wait. I have an island to go to. I just hope great fortune means treasure troves of cloves. Okay. Uh, island in the northeast. Oh, it's not the labyrinth. It's not going to send them to the labyrinth. Is it? Oh, 
Unless it's this little baby croissant. <laughs> this little baby croissant island. Uh, yeah, because that's the only kind of thing that there is to the northeast. And this is talking about, like, something in Skull Lake. But it doesn't look like there's going to be anything good in Skull Lake. Uh, right, let's go chat to, to this person. Hmm, should I really ask about that? No, maybe not. But then again... Hmm. Are you here for a prophecy from the all-clucking cuckoo? Get ready for your life to change. They say the cuckoo's words always come true. Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions and I need some time to sort out which ones to ask. Really? You'd be doing me a favour. Go ahead. Uh, well, first let me speak to... You. Hi. Welcome to Sofa Color Stable! Brr. Do you like horses? I used to like bugs when I was little, but now I like horses best. I'm practising so I can be a horsey when I grow up! Nay! <laughs> hey, hey, mister! Did you come to hear the all-clucking cuckoo's prophecies? I came to ask if I'm going to be a horsey when I grow up, but since the all-clucking cuckoo is so popular, the wait is super long. I mean, mate, there's like no one here. It's like, what, one other person? And like, me? Like, you can just ask, it's just a chicken. You can ask them whenever you want. Right, let's let's speak to the all-clucking cuckoo, shall we? Thy name? What is thy name? Ah, oh, I sent it. You are Link. And you're searching for someone. Oh, yes. Princess Zelda. Hi, devil. And what I know is that thou wilt face trials and will real much to you. So, thou will take these trials! Uh, yeah. Very well. The first trial is... Get to the top of the stable's head within the time limit. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. <laughs> Did not think that this is what we were going to end up doing today. Uh, so, right, I got a minute to, to... Oh, I can't... It won't let me do my little zoomy zoom. So wait, do I have to go up to like the very, very top of it or just the roof of this thing? Oh, go on, go, 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 go. Is it here? Is this it? I gotta keep going up. Can I can I can I ascend anywhere? Yes, I can ascend, I can ascend. Okay. There we go. We should be good. We should be good. We should be good. So what 25 seconds. Let me have a little look, because it's paused the timer. Is there like a little marker? I don't think there is. Maybe it'll just count. There we go. Easy. Loads of time. You finished! Yeah, that's how chickens sound. Don't judge me. That's how that's how chickens sound. <laughs> Good God with the trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that it was going to happen, so... Thou, yes, ready to face the next trial. Only if thou overcome it, will you find the truth you seek of. So, are you going to try it or what? <laughs> Very well. The second trial is... <laughs> Bring the log here within the time limit. Lots of trees around here. Any of them will do. Okay. Just do whatever it takes to get them here. Well, how many? What? Is it three? Three? Did it say I need to get three? Three logs? Three? Logs? Am I imagining three? I think I think it said three, right? Okay, we should have plenty of time anyway. Do I have like a, an axe? I do have an axe. It's a good one as well, right? Let's just knock down three trees, and then ultra hand them together, and then I can probably do them like all in one big go. So let's go grab you. And attach it to you, then attach you to you, and then hopefully I have time to get back up the hill. Oh wait, how? Oh, I've got to get the logs up first. Uh, could I? If I go up here, oh, I've got to be quick. Got to be quick, actually. I could do this, and then I could recall it, and then try and grab it. Right, let's. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't turn it off. No! I, I can't fail the chicken. But I guess the chicken would already know whether I'm going to fail or succeed the challenge. So I guess it wouldn't be surprised at least. I should be okay for time, actually. Right, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Okay. I got it. There we go. You finished? I think it said three. Maybe it was just one. But maybe I'm an overachiever. And actually I had like 40 seconds left, so I was fine. I don't know why I was so panicking. So, you're trying it or what? You've got to be worn out. Well, it's been entertaining. So naive. So trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. A talking cuckoo? Ridiculous! Oop, now that you're worn out, you've got, uh, what you right where we want you! Everyone! Wait, this isn't a Yeager thing, is it? Get him! And finish the job! It is! This is one of the sneakiest ones yet.
Luckily, these guys are absolutely useless at combat. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, look, they did like like a quarter of a, of damage to me there. Go on, then get close, and then I can go and try and finish you off. Where was she? Where are all my mates? Where are all this? Where have all the the sages got to? Normally, they do like a good job of uh, helping me out with these guys. Maybe I'll try and get the the last one with uh, an arrow. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, because they're, they're staying at range. Try and get them with an arrow. Oh no, they're teleporting away! Oh, just missed them. And there we go. Okay, I got them. So wait, were they disguised as... See, I thought it was going to be someone like hiding in the tree doing the voice or something, but were they actually disguised as a chicken? Well, let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared! It's weird, this has been like the, the first one of the, the stories I've done for the Lucky Clover the, yeah! like gazette that hasn't tried to get Zelda involved somehow. Hey, there's my partner! Ah. I was just giving a good long think to the all clocking cuckoo situation when I saw everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? Mm. Oh, hey, I see. Well, I had suspicions that a cuckoo couldn't yap to save its life, but I didn't suspect it was a Yiga clan trap. Those chumps really know how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that one. Oh, but at least this is one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in the cuckoo's prophecies, people need to know the truth, or else they'll face more of these lies in their future. Oracles, my tail feathers. Mm. We've worked out together to trace seven of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. There's never time for a break, you know. Well, I better make sure Tracy hears about the details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, whoops. I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you and has asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Oh, I thought it was going to be a froggy outfit. 20 blooming rupees. Gosh, barely worth bending over to pick up. I want a froggy hat. Anyway, get a load of you. Giving us a big scoop and those you gig adults are healthy clobbering all in the same day. Not bad for a day's work. You keep that up and you'll have no choice but to keep you on as my partner for a long, long time. But enough crowing. If I want to meet my deadline, I better get back to the office and start writing this up. See ya, kid. So long. Oh, I thought I was getting some froggy stuff. Boo. Boo. No fair. Oh, that's sad. It's got to be the next one though, right? I've only had one of them, and I've done seven of them, as they said. Right, let's mark this stable. I kind of mark it with just a little thing, just to remind me that I have done the quest here. So if it kind of comes down to it at the end, I can very easily see which stables I, I need to go back to in order to, to get the the other ones. Right then, I realized this was going to be the Tarrytown episode, and it's kind of ended up being everything but, because I've been wandering off. But we have found loads of really cool things. Right, I was going to go do the shrine, then I remember the Koroks here, and I was going to leave them, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. And it was quite fun, actually. Oh, they're down a hill. Maybe I could make, like, a, a skateboardy thing to, to make my way down. Let's make this fun. Um, right, you know what? I might actually... This might seem counterintuitive. I might actually carry them away from here. So I want to find some flat ground for when I'm building, so it doesn't keep sliding away. But let's see if we can make something that I can ride down that hasn't got any power to it. So, there's the sledges I can use. Uh, I, well, I guess I could use a cart, would make a bit more sense on the ground. And then a steering stick. So, would this steering stick guide it? Like, could I just use that? Would this work? Or does there need to be a fan or something in order for the steering stick to work? Or will it change? Like, will it move the wheels that are already just on the cart? I guess if I just go on it. Like, is that doing anything? I don't know if it is, you know. Let's give it a little test, though. Let's give it a little test. If not, I can add a fan to it. Well, let's just add a fan to it anyway, because it might make it go faster. I need to just get some uh, some new fans. So let's go and uh, add this to the, the back. And then this should be enough to get us... Oh, wait. Was that too low? And also, is it attached to the Korok? Because I don't want that. Yeah, let's move the fan a little bit higher. So I don't want it scraping on the ground anyway. There we go. This looks like a little little cute nimble vehicle and then the fan should be enough to get us going but i need to turn hard to the right 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 there we go <laughs> okay yeah, this should get us all the way to the car it's good because it's quite far away but it's quite an easier one to do because it is just straight down what seems to be 
a pretty smooth hill. Can this guy break trees? Let me let, let me wait till I get close to these trees. No, it looks like he just bounced off them. Oh yeah, I got to, I'm steering, aren't I? I've got to steer. I don't know why I was just like expecting it to steer itself then. I was like, nope, I've got to pay attention. I wonder if this will be powerful enough to... for us to ride up the hill. Oh yeah, it actually seems like it actually could get up the, the hill. I guess I could uh, use this to, to get back after this. Oh no! No, buddy! Buddy, come back! Can I, can I recall them? They're like through here somewhere. There we go. Let's go, let's go rewind them. And then let's go and uh, grab them out of it this time. We go and deliver them. And then, yeah, then I'll ride this thing back up the hill. And then we're in the episode by doing the, the shrine. But don't worry, we'll be continuing to hang out on this area and uh, do all of the other things around Tarrytown and the race course and stuff that we uh, that we need to do. Anyway, here's your buddy back. It's been a while since I've upgraded my Korok seed as well. So, yeah, I've got 26 of them, which uh, ain't too shabby. So, right, let's see. Can I ride this thing back up the hill, right? Turn right. So it's very, it's very hard to turn sharply. I know it looks like I'm driving really bad. I promise you I was holding as far right as I could then. But I've got it stuck. Let's maybe line this up with the path to make it a little bit easier for myself. And then we'll see if we can uh, ride our way back at the, the top. Not a bad little vehicle, though, and, like, very cheap to, to make. And pretty fast. Like, and you don't have to, like mess around with like adding all of like the the four like wheels separately because the cart just has it all to, together nicely and it's uh, powerful enough to get us up a relatively steep hill as well not too shabby oh it's a combat one by the looks of things seeing as Link's decided to take all his clothes off <laughs> proving ground the hunt right oh there's ah we're gonna have a little room Fight. I love these. Uh, I need to find something to attach to it. So I guess I could I just attach these these spike uh, these spike spike panels. Right. Oh, uh, I need I need something I need something to set it off going. I don't know. Did I did I run past? Ah. Okay. So they got me one stick, which ain't gonna do much damage, but should be enough just to set this little guy going. So right, you can go off there. And looks like we have another one down here to, to do the same. I love these little things. I did actually go to another capsule dispenser that that uh, dispensed these. Just so I could get a whole load more of them because they're so much fun. <laughs> I've never attached spikes to them before. And the good thing with shrines as well is that you have infinite energy. So these guys will like never run out of energy while we're, uh, while we're down here. Right, they can keep doing their thing. I'm going to make myself a, a better weapon. So let's drop that. And then let's attach that to this, which should make a pretty decent weapon, like by the standards of this. And then these guys, as you see, they're still powered, but they're just kind of looking around. So I might try and use it as a bit of a shield as we move forward to get it close. And then we can just set that guy going. All right, off you go, buddy. And then let's go <laughs> grab the other one who's <laughs> gone on for a little little wander down here. And then we can go and set this one going as well. This will be an easy one. Because I just then need to go and like do the, the cleanup. So all right, let's go set them off. And I guess I'll just chill here for a bit. And then wait till the, the job's done. So I don't think they can even like damage them, right? I don't think they even have like a health bar. I can literally just chill here and do like a little dance for a while while it goes and takes them out. So let's do that. No! I was too confident! I was too confident! Leave me alone! No! My buddies! My buddies! Right, okay, let's, uh... Yeah, let's get this weapon out. Okay, oh, have I gone out there range? Okay, right, back to dancing, back to dancing. Okay, good. For a second, I thought I was going to have to actually play the game, which is not my intention. I just want to watch the game being played by my little Roombas. <laughs> Are they do Oh, one got stuck. I think the one at the back's got... Oh, is it falling over? Oh, it hasn't, but I think it's going to get pushed off the edge here. Because it's like Robot Wars. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's literally like Robot Wars as they go and, like, face each other. Oh, oh wait, has it been turned off? It might have been. Oh, no, no, it's still moving. I think it's just doing, like, they're just doing very small amount of damage. Like, compared to, like, the amount of health the enemies have and how many they have. So, right, it might take a while, but I'm committed to let my Roombas do all of the work here. So let's uh, let's chill out for a bit, shall we? No! Roomba down! Roomba down! It's been... Oh, I need to rescue it. I need to rescue it. <laughs> We've done half of the, the damage that we uh, that we need to do. <laughs> Maybe I, uh, I should actually join in. Oh, wait! 
There's one. Oh no, the other one's down. Okay, no, that one's upright still though. Oh god, these guys are really chasing quick here. I'm gonna have to build this quick. No, 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 no. Are they chasing? Are they chasing? Oh no, 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 no. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I don't want to fight you! I just want to build little rumbers! Right, I might have to try and get away from them. I want to loop around. I think, was that a lightning one? Hopefully it was all one. It looks like there might be another one up here. Hopefully there's no enemies for me to face. Oh, how do I get up there? Oh, maybe I have to run up here and then glide to it. And all their health bars are low, actually. You can see uh, how low their health bars are down there. Aha! There is. Oh, is, is that like a shock one and a flame one, maybe? I could attach both to, to this. Oi! You throw rocks at me, you cheeky what name. Right, let's, let's ignore them. Actually, let's block it. Use my big shield. <laughs> right, let's attach this to the front there. Then we can attach both to this. Oh, I did that a little bit too high up. Or too low down, I guess. Right, let's turn you around. Stop throwing rocks at me! Pathetic. The good thing is I know that when I finish this, it will boost all my health up, so I don't need to stress too much. Right, this is going to be a... Uh, a little bit more of a, uh, a deadly rumba now. So let's uh, let's maybe bring this one down here. And then maybe we could set this one going up to the, the top. So there seemed to be like one at the very top, which is probably like the, the boss one. So let's set you there. And then if I go and do this, that should set them going after them. And then I'll go and build a, uh, another one down here. Oh, this is a beam one. Very good. Right, so where are the rest of the enemies? Are they still kind of over in the direction of where they were following me? Oh, it's trying to go after that one, actually. Right, let's uh, let's set this beam one going off. Oh, yeah, they're, they're all going after the enemies down. Oh, oh, there's an enemy right there. Ah, no, no, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. Leave me alone. I'm one of you. I might for this. Oh, it's, oh, it's a cannon one. Can I, can I just hold it and just blast him with this? There we go. This, this doesn't count. This doesn't count as me doing it. Because I, I'm, I'm just holding it and the cannon's doing all of the work. <laughs> so yeah, let's see if I can get a long range shot on some of those guys down there. Oh, it was hard to aim, so I've only got like two angles that I could do. <laughs> this is great though. Right, so oh, this enemy's still here. How are they still alive with like those two going after it? Right, let's uh let's maybe go ditch that for now. And then, oh, I landed on my other one. Let's go and uh, get this one to go join in the, the fight, shall we? Oh, my God. The why did the cannon shoot there at me? Oh, there's an enemy still alive down there. But probably not for, for long. I just want to... Why, why, why is it shooting this way? Why why is that? Oh is, it just, oh, is it just lying on the floor and still endlessly shooting? Can I turn it off? I, I got to hit it to turn it off. Or is it just going to destroy me? <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's set that one going. Oh, and it's going to go after this one down there. This well, well, this beam guy is just going crazy. I think it's just looking for any other enemies, but it can't see any. Let's go and uh, plop it down here, shall we? Then it can go and uh, join in the, the fight down there. Uh, this one, this one isn't really needed to be honest. I think we're, I think we're, we're basically done. That was great. That's the best combat one. The one where you, I didn't even need to shoot or attack an enemy directly once, and I just let all of my equipment, <laughs> all of my friends, do all of the the work in order to to complete it. Right? Are they all going to be deactivated now? And can I go and grab all of the the loot, or is the uh? Has the loot? Oh no, the loot's all disappeared. Okay, let's tell. Let's just get out of there because they are not the uh. The best at working out who's fr who's friend or foe. We'll leave them causing chaos in their their wake, and we will instead go and grab the uh, the loot from the uh, the chest at the uh, the end down here. Is it going to be something actually worth grabbing this time? Uh, oh, pretty good actually, and I have room for it uh, as well, which is a uh, a rarity. And there's a another shrine done. Anyway, though, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode here. So as I said, in the next episode, we will, um, yeah, we'll just kind of carry on dawdling around in the area, speaking to people, getting objectives. I'm still yet to fully kind of work out what's going on in Tarrytown and, um, yeah, everything going on with uh, Hudson Construction over there. So, yeah, we will continue delving deeper uh, into this uh, this area of the uh, of the Hyrule world in the next episode. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!